meet again. <laughs> my, my days are popping up. <laughs> How many weeks left? Three. No, two. Two and a half. Two and one day. Hey, you look really lean. <laughs> two and one day. Look crazy shredded. I show him, show him you checking photos. What? Checking photos. What? Like my my from yesterday. Yeah. Alright, so what's the focus for today? How much uh, you work out? More soccer. Mostly lats, lats. So we're gonna focus mostly on pulls, uh, pull downs, kind of like um, high rows. So anything that's coming from up. Where your elbows traveling like nice and tight to your body. That's mostly what we're focusing on. So, yeah, a good rule of thumb is like anything where you're where you're pulling with your elbows tucked is more lats. Anything elbows out is more mid back, upper back. Yeah. Did her coach say to work on those areas? What happened? Did her coach say to work on those areas, or is that... yeah, she needs to focus on her lats more. So she already has like big traps. So we want to stay away from that area. So we we'll want to focus more lat based. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm so shaky. The secrets of the pros? It's a secret. So I, I have to feed the other people. So this is a pleasure for me. We are zooming. Mm -hmm. This is my back pose. This is my front pose. This is my, on my side. How's coach happy? Coach said that I am my best version. <laughs> that he haven't seen me like that before. We will see. I need to show that. Are you happy? Uh, yes. I'm happy. I'm tired. Uh, it is what it is. Two more weeks. Two more weeks and I'm gonna be in three weeks in a row. One week competing, another week, another week competing. Oh, gonna lay down. Yes. Alright, so now you're doing pullovers? Yeah. You're looking fancy. I see the, the shoes and the outfit. Everything is too much. <laughs> matchy, matchy. When I'm in off season, I don't mind. I put a sweater. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this, this exercise done this way. So yeah, if you don't have a pullover machine, a good alternative is just the cables, but on top of that, I like to add dumbbells. Because um, just the cables, like, it's just a, a better resistance profile with the dumbbells, because like, you're gonna see. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. So, all the way down, all the way down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So at the bottom position, the way assisting her, right there, it's assisting her. As she comes up, it's, it's challenging her. So I like the different like resistance profile against. There you go. Get through that sticking point. Get through that sticking point. Get through that sticking point. Forward thing. So as you can see, the the exercise starts off really hard. Because the resistance gets hard, 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 hard. Then as you come to a finish, it gets easier. So that's basically what you want for that. You want to profile it goes from hard to easy. Two more. So you gotta squeeze them. Come on. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. One. Go. Right there. Go. On your own. On your own. I'm not gonna help you. Go. Good stretch. At the end, you feel great. Welcome back home. Yeah, it's been a minute. Welcome back home. All right, now we're back. We just fucking kicked some ass and fucking Columbus so fucking high, yo. 
Now, today, she's rested, I'm rested. She's allowing me to take her through a workout, so I'm excited. Because usually she, you know, she created her own body, her own physique, by herself, on her own, throughout her whole entire life. I didn't do pretty much, uh, in my opinion, she did all the hard work. It's her body, she created over all these years. So all she needed was like, and that's it. And that's where Kim came in, and I was just there, just guiding her along the way. Kim before Kim, but I think it's a teamwork. I think he's too humble. But with that being said, um, we were kind of a, not restricted, but we had that little like Halley way of like, okay, this is where the judges want you to be, and that's what we're gonna achieve. So. With that being said, I don't know. I'm giving him today full carte blanche, which is white card. <laughs> Translation, I don't know. Just fully, he's aware of the feedback from the judges. We had all the feedback, so hopefully the he gets that. The feedback was that she's perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna. <laughs> she's so we're gonna, humble. So we're gonna work with that. On being more perfect. <laughs> For okay. the next show, which is in like seven weeks. Okay, so uh, fire hydrant, iso cooler. Over here. It's dangerous. Baby, it's okay. I know that he's gonna. I'm just gonna take it. Just laying or. Uh, all fours. Either way. Either way. No, I don't want to put my foot. I do. Hold it. So that's why it's called fire hydrant. Yeah. I got you. How long is she supposed to hold for? One minute. Ten more seconds and then you're gonna wrap them out with control, okay? And go, wrap them out, control, control. Guide to me, there you go. Ten reps, three. Seven. Also try to not lean down in your hip like this. You really want to try to keep your hips as you know straight as possible. Not cheap. Keep pushing. Oh, all that. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push. Oh. <laughs> But she's like, mommy, I haven't done it so long. What is that? <laughs> okay, keep your feet down. Yep, and just open and So when you're opening, so visually, the cue obviously is to push out with your knees. But she's an elite lifter. She's been doing this for almost 20 years. So I'm gonna tell. <laughs> Seven <laughs> no, oh, okay, my bad. Not a long time. Uh, for a long time, not 20, she's not old. Okay, so you're gonna push up. Concentrate on using this to push out, not with your knees. Do you want me to pelvic tilt no, or no? Just, okay. just use this one. Okay, I get you. Control in, control in from there, from your glute. Control it in, control it in, control it in, and gradually push back out. Keep 
Okay. Ice will hold. Okay. No, open and close. Okay. Hold it right there, just hold that. It moves. Go into a hip bridge. Go. Squeeze. One. Come down. Squeeze up. Two. Yes. Squeeze up. Three. Squeeze up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now hold that for 30 seconds. Squeeze it. 10 more seconds. You're going to keep holding it for another 30 seconds, but this time push out. Control in with your knees. Remember from what part of the glute that you're using to open it up, not just from your knees. And go. Time. Good. So that is her warm up slash activation. And now we are going to go into the V squat reverse lunge. So it's a single leg variation with a squat ramp underneath the toes. Boom. So get in there. You're going to put one foot behind on where you put the weight. So center one part of your leg. So then you're going to start with that leg. Yep. I'm going to start with this one. Okay. Here. Push it down lower. This one. With this foot lower. Oh, this one. Here. No, not too low. Okay, here. Right there. Now put that toe. Right there. Right there. Uh -huh. And lower your shoulders forward. Uh huh. And hinge and push your butt back. Push your back, 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 and then easy drive. One. Down, 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 down. Woo! One. Down, down, down. Up, two. Got it? Three. It's a new one for her? Huh? Is this a new one for her? Wait, what? Is this a new one for her? Yeah. Keep going. You know when you do like a unilateral, like even though my legs, this one is stronger, I think the other right is stronger. I get tired from my first set, so yeah. It's not good though. Just trying to figure out. That's why. So during unilateral movements, I give, remember on the other videos, I, I always say that I give them rest in between each body part for that exact same reason. So she's struggling with the other leg that's usually strong. But since she did the opposite leg first, it was a little harder with the stronger leg, which you could also use to your advantage and use that for training purposes when you have a lagging body part, take that under consideration. But in this case, when, you know, 
there do you have an established you know physique or in her case she doesn't need hypertrophy um, or you know you're just trying to like bring in some details just keep that in mind as well like rest in between each body part two, one to two minutes max that's it you're getting your angles too trying to <laughs> So we're done with this. Now we're gonna go into Bulgarian split squats with the same thing. We're gonna have the wedge right underneath our toes for another two sets and then probably some hip thrusts or something. So you, I took the tutorial how to do a Bulgarian split squats. So I'm gonna talk for her and then just go get the juicy parts and like just follow where my finger goes and stuff like and that. And I'll stay behind you so I don't get in a shot. <laughs> All right, what's up everybody? So here is a tutorial on how to do the Bulgarian split squats more detailed with the execution of the exercise instead of, you know, just the traditional textbook, you know, way of doing it. To go more in depth, if you have trouble feeling your hamstrings, feeling your glutes, executing the movement, either on the way down or on the way up. So this will help you next time when you do them to really focus on the, what is it, uh, the intention of the movement instead of just, you know, moving from point A to point B. So we have Laura Lee here, my <laughs> Miss International Bikini Champion, Arnold Champion. I so, the champion. you're my champion, <laughs> she's number one. Okay, so we have, we also have a squat wedge over here in the front for the front foot. She's gonna put her back foot up there, so with any bench, you want to find out which one's the best height for your body type. Because if you're short, you need a shorter bench. If you're tall, you need a taller bench. If you have longer limbs, taller bench, you know how it goes. So we're gonna bring this forward a little bit more. Okay, so back foot there. Probably want to place it here. Whatever is comfortable for you, right there. So now, spine straight up. What I want her to do, she's gonna hinge just a little bit, okay? So abs tight, she's gonna hinge a little bit. Not just your butt, that's right, that's right. right there. So now what she's gonna do now is she's gonna pretend like she's drilling her back knee down into the ground. So she's gonna come down, 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 down. She's gonna pause right there. She's gonna squeeze from the bottom of her glute and press down with her heel. Not coming straight up, but going in a diagonal curve going like she's flying like Superman, that way. Ready, squeeze, and then when she comes back down, she's directing her butt cheek to the edge of the bench. So come down, 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 down. Pause, squeeze, and press at the same time, that way. Keep going. I'm gonna, you wanna push your knee forward as you come down. It gives you a greater stretch on the glute and the hamstrings. Now squeeze and drive. There you go, one more. So remember, drilling the back knee down while you're going to squeeze and press with the heels. Squeeze your glute and press with the heels. Now, for quad emphasis, all you got to do, straighten out your spine, drill the back knee down, push this hip, and this knee forward gradually and control. Push it forward, come straight down, drill the back knee, down, 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 down. Push forward a little bit more as much as you can. And then you're gonna pretend like you're doing a leg press and drive straight up in a line. Ready? Boom, it's that simple. Give it a try. Peace! I'm checking back in on you real quick. Checking back. So what do you have left, cardio? Yeah, cardio. 45 minutes. Is it hard to do cardio in Jordans? It's horrible. But what? sometimes I forget my, I forget and I have to, I forget my other shoes. You just want to look cute. Ah, uh, yes. I, I want to be like Matsuma. Because I could hear you thumping from across the gym. Yeah, but I love the Jordans. They're comfortable, but no more walking. For, for a third, yes. For a third, it's okay. 
Not for treasure. No. <laughs> this is not good. Right, so did your tutorial count as an actual set or no? No, that was a warm-up. All right. <laughs> She didn't have dumbbells before, right? No. I knew something was different. There you go, let that stretch. See, are you going back some? I did 12 on the other leg. No, you did it. Did she do 12 on the other leg? Never count. Yeah, I don't think you did 12 for the other leg. No? I think you I did 8. Maybe I can count. Well, maybe I can count. Six reps. No. You started when I, I was... How you started, though? No, look. You picked up the dumbbells. One. Oh, you... So then, so then I started at six? Because I, I, I just corrected you. Look. I did eight. I, I said hinge more. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did two before that, so I did eight. You did eight. Oops. Oops. Like, I did 12. <laughs> two. One. Rest. So she did 12 on one leg. Last time, and eight on the other. So I just made her do 15 to make up for it. So the next leg, she's going to do 15 as well. So I've been doing this superset because I'm very restricted on time when I'm, when I'm working out at like 2 a.m. Um, Weirdo. Yep. So I will start, I won't, I won't even do leg extension, adducts or any of that stuff anymore. I'll start off with leg press with two plates and then superset it with hack squat with a plate and a 25. Rest like two minutes, come back here, add a plate. Go over there, add a plate. Come back here, add a plate and so on and so on until this is like loaded up with eight, seven to eight plates. And then I have three to four plates there where I'm doing just 10 reps and 10 reps. Open, 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 open and press one. Is there a certain tempo that you use? Two. Just controlled. I'm just where... slow. So I don't have my clients or athletes that I train, I don't have them go up and down, up and down until like the last final set. The warm-ups and the working sets, I want them to control the weight and not have the weight control them because it's bodybuilding. So I want them in control of everything throughout the whole entire range of motion. No relaxing, no, no bouncing of the weight, ricocheting of the weight. No gravity assistance. So basically, you want them to use do what's the, on the wall? Use, the, yeah, control, control the negative and the positive, and every rep has a purpose, and squeeze from the butthole. <laughs> you can get all, that, all the shirts that say those things on your site, oh right? God, yeah. Every rep has a purpose. Ready? Huh? Yeah. Oh, and then that one. To learn, you must love, discipline, and do you have that on the shirt too? No, not yet. I should though. Like, no. Trying to get some money, you know, injected into the economy here. Get the gas prices back down. Not so wide. Try not to bounce. Is that a pet peeve when you hear people bouncing the, the carriage on the front? I mean, I mean, if they're hiring me to, you know, for my service, this is the way I teach and I train my clients. If they're just training like that at a public gym or here, that's their preference. I mean, I train like that, but I know there's intention when I do it. Someone's having fun and they're feeling good and they're working out. It's no one's business or no one's, you know, above authority to tell them 
what to do, what not to do, if it's making them happy, if it's making them feel good. And if they are doing that, fuck you. Beep. So vulgar. Yeah. All right, so you went up a plate. Yep. Over here is the high squad. So trainers out there, if you guys are watching this video, here's a quick tip on standing out from the other trainers. I'm very hands-on. No matter what, if the client go straight, go straight into it. No matter what, if the client could do the exercise without my assistance, my hands are still going to be on the machine. I don't care. It's still going to be on the machine. I'm learning and I'm building a relationship with the way my client trains with the machine so I see where she's weak, stronger, in the whole entire range of motion, when, where, so I know how to spot her, when to spot her, instead of standing 10 feet away, and then when she's struggling, it takes me two seconds to get over here and then spot her, and then she's already injured. So, quick tip. And then on top of that, everybody else is looking at you as the trainer that's always on top of their clients while the other trainers are jerking off around the corner, filming on their phones, whatever the case may be. And in that way, you build a better relationship with your client because they trust you because you're always there right by their side if anything goes wrong. More plates. I added, right? More okay. Yates. More plates, would you like that bar? Huh? I said more plates, more Yates. That's right. <laughs> Either. At least you laugh, thank you. Lats good. Hello, my name's Dorian Yates and this is Blood and Guts. <laughs> I'm six time Mr. Olympia. <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> I forgot the rest. Alright, so she's on a call and you're editing footage that she just took? Yeah. One of the videos. I'm gonna post it and then she's on a phone call. And then she has Vanessa to pose. She's like two weeks out, I think. And like Colin's yourself okay I want you to stand extremely tall start from here exhale but just turn you see how my arm like you don't I don't want you to cheat that butch okay so here start from here I want you to hit equal if you hit the floor I want you to push this way ready and exhale and just chest Back up. So here, establish your legs like, yeah. <laughs> no, baby. Here, yeah. Legs straight, legs straight on. Your hip bone align. And you push, no, you see it. Like, I would take a picture of you right now. Like, I would take a picture of you right now. You're like this. Here. This way. Yes. Beautiful. And then from here, you just hand on the hip, right here. And then exhale. Just your torso. Leave your leg. Leave your hip. Who's your next client? Bobby. She said she was supposed to come at 11. Mm -hmm. And she said 12. So. What's she training today? Uh, legs. It's been so long. I haven't seen you. How are you? Welcome back. <laughs> welcome you back. <laughs> I keep telling everyone welcome back, but it's really weird that hasn't been here. All right, so he's, he's starting you off with normal warm-ups, and then he'll well, come in gonna, and train. She, she's gonna, so her workout consists of uh, the first exercise, four sets of kickbacks, but in my opinion, um, I'm gonna have her, 
she's still gonna do the four sets, but she's gonna start with two of them going back to back because while one leg is resting, the other one's working. So she's gonna do, I guess it's 12 reps, 12 reps, then 12 reps, then 12 reps, and then she's gonna rush her ass over here. We're gonna do four sets of Bulgarian split squats. Once she's done with that, she goes back. She does the remaining two other sets, a little bit heavier, 12, 12, 12, 12, and then next exercise. When do you hop in? When she's done with the kickbacks. I know you hate those. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I was trying to get. Uh, Is that egg or potatoes? Steak, eggs, and sweet potatoes and rice. That looks good. All homemade in the kitchen. That's done for me though, for all though. The steak is a little bit overcooked though, but we'll not. How is it, Aldo? <laughs> That's a low carb face. That's a dead face. I know that face. I know that face. She looks great. Yeah, no, I mean, she looks amazing, trust me, but doesn't make them freaking work. Two hours of cardio, no food, starvation. She knows what she has to do, though, and she's not complaining. She's still here, and that is my inspiration, y'all. What about, what about you? I'm camera shy. You shouldn't be, though. They loved you in the last, the last vlog. Eighty grams of carbs now finally after three days. <laughs> <laughs> to survive in this okay. We got new ones. She just brought her new because um, we broke them. So now she brought our new ankle strap. Oh, they oh they so, broke. Yeah, they just they just kept getting them. So I mean, I think she got two for us. But yeah, the best one. So if you want to get yours, get that on her site. Let's talk no work, and that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> yeah. No talk, no talk, and let it fucking. I'm all talk, no work today. <laughs> I'm gonna carry the video with my uh, vocals. I heard Nutella. It was, came it was so strong. We're talking about Nutella, but we're not fans, but we'll eat it. Tommy, you get one. Down more. You see that? Nine. Down, 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 down. More, 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 more. So, are you a few pounds lighter since the Arnold? No. You're heavier? It's the same, but I, I'm like getting lean, you know? It's the, I'm keeping the muscle. See? So, we're gonna try, like, we're pushing a lot the cardio, and my food is zero carbs. So, I'm like not eating, I'm not eating carbs, I'm waking the same way, but tighter. So, that's a good thing, because it's the more I'm protein? Dense. It's only protein and vegetables. Today I ate 30 grams of crab, but like I'm keeping the muscle. See? So that's good because means that I'm like um, keeping like dense the muscle, but we're gonna pull shaving more this next probably tomorrow zero to Saturday probably zero Sunday. No, Saturday probably will have one meal before we count his legs. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because Wednesday I fly to Bermuda. So we're gonna push. It's gonna change a lot by Monday. It's gonna change. Since he pulled the carbs, does he increase your protein amount um, or you keep the protein uh, as it was before? The. Yeah, increase a little bit. Like he was explaining yesterday, uh, uh, I think before I was doing like 2.4 grams of protein for, for, pound? for, uh, for 
kilos of um, body, body. Weight? yes thank you and now I'm doing I think three grams so increase because the carbs is zero you know because yeah. initially when you said that but most people use kilograms you know here in the yeah. US we're the only ones that use pounds because my coach is also from, from Brazil. Brazil right so we still think in kilo. Most, like a lot of people, especially in like the community, you know, that science-based community, they, they do everything in kilograms. Anyway. They do, right? Yeah. I don't understand why United States is pounds. Because we, we, we like being different here in the U.S. That's true. That is the only That's gotta feel heavy. I think this is band scale too. Oh yeah. Because it's usually I do more, but this bands. That's crazy. Alright, so you're back in the building. Back. Wrist looking kinda of heavy. A little gift for myself. <laughs> oh, oh, let me zoom in. I don't think he can come. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice, 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 yeah. nice, nice. You just picked that up? Yeah, last weekend. Um, I was looking for for another one, but no one really had it because it was old. And looking for that one, I came across this one, and this one's a little bit more popular. So then. Uh, I was going through like three other dealers and then there's one that, you know, I posted a Facebook status and all my friends like commented this one kid's name and then since it's a childhood friend and acquaintance of all my other friends, I hit him up, boom, the next day. He had it flown out, like shipped over here. I saw it, I was like, all right, fucking give it to me. And then that was that. Great experience. He doesn't, he's not really, he doesn't have a tag or anything, so I can't really plug him in, so. But thank you, Brandon. See a lot of light over here, something's going on. Dragon Pharma, baby. Yeah, so shooting time. Here? For training tips, right? Yeah, four. Four training tips. We're doing a series. It smell it, it smell a little bit. Uh, oh, just go like this. I know what it smells. I, uh, uh. I remember I, I cried a couple times. Well, like, what this I, one's strong? Like, just come, my, like, tears just coming, like, down. But how do you, you, you shake it and that's... Yeah, but shake. don't put it too close to your face because it's really, that one's really strong. Oh, oh my God! Did you get it? Did you get it? It's like a month ago. Look, try this. Go. All the way down. And then when you curl up, go all the way up. Up, up, up. Curl, curl. More, 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 more. Right there, and then control down. For a second, I thought this was attached to it. You go up, 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 up. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. It makes the top range of motion hard, too. You don't have to top it easy. Yeah. Now with this. John Meadows was using it. And then, really? Yeah. And then I was like, oh shit. And I have a good relationship with Watson, so then they just, I think they sent it over for free. No way. Yeah? Yeah. You don't have to hold a camera, do you? Huh? No. He's going to have a <laughs> pump. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, if you live closer, I would really love to train here. <laughs> For real. One more, one more. Do one more, one more. Yeah, go. Do one more. Oh, one more. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Watch. Up, 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 up. Squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now, squeeze, squeeze. Come down. And squeeze again. Go. Up, up, up. up. Yeah. So now you do seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Now the seven is fucking hard as fuck. Five. You say you're up next. I don't do I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I only do barbell work. It's okay, it's all dope. Try it. 
Travel former athlete and coach. Welcome back to Blue Daddy Stream. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Dragon. What's up, everybody? Dragon former athlete Aldo. Wait, fuck. What's up, everybody? Dragon former athlete and coach Aldo. We are back here for another fucking shit. 